power goes out completely, not just in a neighborhood, but in an area or region, there is often this worry that it might take long to be restored. Usually, when power is expected back after long hours or even days of outage and it's not restored, what is often referred to in our local palace as NEPA, don't take light, you know, forget bring them back, or what many call total blackout. Now, residents or people who have businesses in such areas will always be on the lookout for any physical damage to power installations like blow up of transformer due to overload, snapping or bridging of power lines. When there is no such immediate visible damage, there is often anxiety that it might take too long for power to be restored. But hey, when was the last time you didn't have light in your area for a long time and you made inquiries to discover the outage is widespread? And how long did it last? I'm sure it's been long. Now you're thinking about it. Hmm. You can't remember, right? You see, you might have heard of total or partial grid collapse. Mm. You may not have noticed very long days of darkness of late. Now ask me why. This is because government has put measures in place to curtail total or partial grid collapse. Presently, there is 87% reduction in total grid collapse, but partial system collapse is a bit lower than that number. So when we return from this short break, we'll be talking about the technicalities of grid collapse and what the current leadership of Transmission Company of Nigeria have done to mitigate frequent grid collapse. Welcome back from that break. You're still tuned to the Bridge 360 show and we have grid collapse on today's edition. Okay, so the Bridge 360 show is a program which aims at providing very useful information that would bridge the communication gap between the public and the government in providing critical infrastructure and economic development through its ministries, departments and agencies. Now on this show, which comes to you every week, our aim is also to awaken the conscience of the citizens in asking the right questions as they hold their leaders accountable. While well, this program is not designed to patronize the government, rather appraise their efforts in critical infrastructural deliverables and seek ways to ensure dividends of democracy are delivered to the people. Our focus on this series of the Bridge 360 show is on power because of its critical role in the nation's development. A grid fails when the frequency plunges below the lower limit of the band or shoots up beyond the upper limit. As a result, transmission lines will stop accepting power supply and other grid constituents, including the generating stations, go out of order. And according to the Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, a total system collapse means total blackout nationwide while partial system collapse is a failure of a section of the grid. Well, it has been argued on the basis of historical data and computer modeling that power grids are self-organized critical systems. These systems exhibit unavoidable disturbances of all sizes up to the size of the entire system. This phenomenon has been attributed to steadily increasing demand load, the economics of running a power company, and the limits of modern engineering. And there are many causes of power failures in an electricity network. Now, examples of these causes include faults at power stations, damage to electric transmission lines, uh, substations, or indiscipline on the part of stakeholders and load underutilization by discos. One of the main causes of grid instability is frequency roaming engendered by either load underutilization or uninstructed generation or overload. Now, while the solution is compulsory for all GENCOs, i.e. operating on free governor mode, that's the FGM, to enable effective control of the frequency accordingly, the second stage solution is calling up of spinning reserve from the providers. We've seen a 87% reduction in total grid collapse in Nigeria since current management of TCN assumed duty and this largely due to the 
insistence by the current MD, Dr. Sule Abdulaziz, to collaborate with DISCOs and JENCOs to ensure strict compliance with the GRID code as regards the free governor mechanism for the JENCOs and to facilitate stable operations of the GRID as the uptake of more energy by DISCO is increasing and full implementation of under frequency load shedding. Now, the management of TCN has also increased preventive maintenance, which is also a key factor in grid stability. Currently, the grid is substantially uh, stable, given that it is operating without a spinning reserve and a few jenkos that do not have free governor mechanism. Additionally, the management of TCN, in collaboration with NERC, NEC, is in the process of procuring some spinning reserve to bring the uncertainty surrounding the facility of demand and supply balance between jenkos and the discos to the barest minimum. The goal for TCN is to wheel stable and reliable electricity to all nooks and crannies of the country, which is seen through the rapid implementation of Nigeria Electricity Grid Maintenance, Expansion and Rehabilitation Program. Well, coming up next, uh, Vox Pop, of course, on what Nigerians know about grid collapse. Well, like we always do, we spoke to everyday Nigerians to weigh their thoughts on grid collapse. Take a listen. Uh, Greek of NAPS is all about maybe sometimes there will be no electricity in a particular place. So that is what I know about it. Uh, the reason why it happens maybe because of maybe lack of a um, transformer in, the, in that particular place. Um, I think the, the solution to it is that government should look into it by providing transformer making transformers available to the, to the areas. Okay, have you heard about the term grid collapse? No. All right, what about uh, blackouts? Yeah, we have about blackouts. Um, is it due to the season? If the season, I think one of the causes is rainfall, mostly because it affects most of the pool and uh, the most of the pools, you see them falling down. That's one causes of blackouts. Uh, I think our government have tried a lot due to, to make sure that um, these things are stable, actually. Greek life is a failure of the power lines, that is the arm tension line that supplies cities, states, or sometimes regions. So it, 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 it drops at a particular place to supply the city while the tensioning continues. So when you have a collapse, when you have that term, grid collapse, what happens? That means there is a grid failure. Mm. That means power is no more going there. Other two things. Added from the mechanical source, which is a thermal station. They are powered by thermal stations. Mm. So the, at the, at the right at the thermal, sta power st uh, thermal station, like the one we have in Ikorodu, Egmen, Ikorodu, Lagos State, supply virtually all these west and other states. So. The, the, this, the, the engineering is a turbine, it's, a, it's an electromagnetic setup that is fixed. You have a rolling object, you need to like a, a magnetic object, heavy magnetic object. That is an electric, uh, we call it electromagnetic feed. So one, it is an engine that will be rolling that thing. And you know engine doesn't move without a diesel. The chemical energy in the diesel supply power to the, to the engine, turn it to a mechanical. While the movement is going on, the magnets are connected. They turn to electromagnetic energy that gives us the electrical power. Mm. So once there is a failure in any of the process, either the electromagnetic is faulty, or it's not well being, it's not being maintained, or there is no enough diesel supply because it runs on diesel, then let the grid will collapse. It's as good as me saying I didn't eat. You expect a failure, either mentally or physically. So that is just it. If you over, if you undersupply, there is going to be a failure. If you oversupply, there's going to be a failure. It's like when you say you build, you're building a, a structure, if you over-reinforce it, there'll be a crack. If you over-reinforce it, if you, if you over it, there'll be a crack. If you over-reinforce, it will collapse. There'll be a failure. So the same thing, every engineering object has a tolerance limit. There is always a percentage on top, maybe 10, 20 percent, but sometimes 40 percent, depending on who is designing. So the moment you go below or above the plus or minus tolerance, sure, expect failure. Um, grid collapse, maybe the national grid collapsed 
it couldn't supply like the way it's supposed to supply, like either from the TCN or Genco or um, a transmission company, all those, there are three arms in, in that area. Um, at times, based on people telling us about uh, Abuja Electrician Authority, at times they will be giving us excuse that uh, the Genco, the generating, the generating company, is not generating all they're supposed to generate. And the generating company also complained that they are not refunding, they are not paying them how much money they have also generated. So the transmission company also, also complained as regards to that. So most of the times, like in my area now, what we are experiencing is not from the Genco, it's not from the transmission company, it's from the Abuja Electricity Distribution Company. I can't actually tell because I'm not in the in the field. But any time the uh, the national national grid collapse, it's always air on, on most of the, most of the uh, television, uh, most of the radio station carries it. But uh, for long, I have not had any. The reason why most of the problem now is from Abuja Electricity Distribution Company because other places they will have light, other people will not have light. So you now know that it's not from the national grid. So it it means the electricity has collapse. No so supplier, no supplier so, so, and that's what we are facing. Government, if government say will do something, definitely they will do it. Except if they don't want to do it. Because government they are the people that will de deal with will, they deal with people. So definitely anything that they say they will do, definitely them they, they can do it except if they don't want to do it. What? Grid collapse. Grid collapse. No 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 no. no. So you don't have any idea? No, I don't have any idea. Sometimes we used to have blackouts. So what is it? What happens when there is a blackout? It is power failure. That's what is... It's a normal thing in Nigeria. But somehow, I think that blackout is a little bit reducing. It's reducing, as I can see myself. So what do you yeah. think causes blackout? Sometimes uh, they say the kind of term, maybe the... The water supply is not sufficient or something due to that uh, the plant cannot be able to carry the the animosity of uh, the consumption so uh, it will bring about uh, failure as they said well i don't know but i know the issue will soon be addressed the fact is that the lord god himself the one who made heaven and earth has visited his people and he has set them free and that does all. As soon as they are free, everything will be normalized. Great collapse. No, I have not. You don't hear about it? Yes, yes. What about blackouts? Blackout, yes. Okay, so what do you understand when there's a blackout? When there's a blackout, when it's when Nepal, the light is off, when we, there is no light, total uh, short, shutdown of light. There's a lot of things that, that can cause shutdown when there's maybe damage from the transformer or from the from the, the distribution station. That's one of the things that can cause blackouts. Welcome back. I'm sure you enjoyed watching the voices on the street. We promise to bring you an interview with our general manager, National Control Center Oshogo Engineer Balarabe Abdullahi. Well, hopefully, his wealth of knowledge does justice to this area of concern. Uh, National Control Center Oshogo uh, is mandated to operate the grid, the entire grid of Nigeria electricity. And uh, it operates on a single national grid system whereby generation stations and transmission stations across the nations are interconnected. This enables every part of the country to assess quality electricity regardless of the location or nearness to generating generation station. The frequency of operation is 50 Hz at such time that Genco generation met this load demand 
including losses. The sphere of operation of Transmission Company of Nigeria transcend the geographical landscape of Nigeria, the Republic of Niger and Benin are currently interconnected with the transmission, Nigerian transmission network. The achievement we call it, mostly call it milestones. In the history of power sector, Nigerian power sector, we have a great generation installed capacity of 13,000 and 14.40 megawatt. And at the same time, the history of power sector, Nigerian power sector, we achieve an all time peak generation of 5,801.60 megawatt on the 1st March 2021 at 20.21.30 20 hours. And at the same time, we attain a maximum daily energy ever on the 5th March 2021 at 119.471.50 megahertz. We also recorded a long time period in the history of power sector without a single power collapse as five collapse free months between 2nd June to 29 November 2020. We also achieved the major parameters in power system which are frequency and voltage they operated most times within operating range. Uh, we also have improvement in TCN infrastructure, particularly increase in number of cycles, which give redundancy to the grid. And also enforcement of implementation of primary operating reserve, which we call as Governor control mode of operation by independent system operators and also implementation and installation of under frequency relay scheme and also so many and uh, developing disciplines to operators in terms of prompt action and vigilant to the grid, especially the frequency. I am moving up on that because we have frequency set to three limit that is allowed to operate the grid. So those are part of the achievement so far. You know, we operate the grid, we know how it operates. You know, you know that easy tax, quite all right. But the grid system collapse, I've seen decline over the past two years since the appointment of this new management headed by engineer Suleiman Abdulaziz. And uh, as I said, part of the improvement, for us to have that, there's an improvement in TCN infrastructure, particularly increase in number of circles which give redundancy to the grid and also enforcement of governor control mode of operation, which I spelled in the milestone so far, implementation, installation, and that's frequency release, which are part of, uh, part of the effort put by the maintenance group under the TSV and the system operators under the ISO. And then we have a display of table that shows a steady decline in number of system collapse. And the table is from 2010 to 2021. And also we have the graphical point on how the graph shows there's highly decline in that. 
I can show you how the tables and how it goes. As I said, the illustration of the table, which shows from 2020 to 2021. In, 2020, in 2010, we, we, we have a total number of collapses. And the collapses, we have two types of collapses, partial and uh, total collapse. And in 2010, the total number of collapse, we have 42. 2011, we have 19. 2012, we have 23. 2013, we have 24. 2014, we have 13 collapses. 2015, we have a total of 10. 2016, we have a total of 27. 2017, we have a total of 24. 2018, we have a total of 13. 2019, we have a total of 11. For the period of the two years, 2020 and 2021, that's where the issues in the present management and uh, as you find a decline showing that there's increased stability between the, the period of two years. In 2020, we have four total collapse. In that four, we have zero partial, there is no partial, and four total collapse. Uh, in 2021, we have two partial present up to date, two partial and two total collapse, making four. And we pray before the end of the year, we will not achieve any. Yeah, we, we, we have a lot of challenges and uh, it's ranging from lack of secondary and tertiary, tertiary operating reserve, low load demand by discourse most of the time, especially during the off peak period. And uh, we have some generators not on free government mode of operation. We have inadequate voltage compositors, devices like uh, capacitor banks and the reactors when the voltage is high and when it is low to boost the, the voltage or reduce it. Most of the uh, transmission stations, they are not there. So those are part of the challenges. We have frequent tripping of critical transmission lines. And uh, some of the lines, are, right, they, they, they are saturated. When the load is high, it doesn't, we don't, we don't go to the, we have to reduce because of the tripping. With the current uh, flows, we have to reduce it. So those are a lot of challenges. And we have, you know, inadequate, uh, what do you call it, SCADA system for monitoring and uh, supervision. So those, those, those are the challenges, part of the challenge. We have so many challenges. Yes, you know, like uh, we have sometimes generators, unavailability. We have generators, no gas. Sometimes during the dry season. Then we have find the hydros, no water in the dam. So that's how all of you managing the grid. A lot of challenges in that. Not the NCC, the NCC can manage the grid. So the, the, the constraints, we have disco generated the constraint, we have generation, we have transmission constraints across all. So we are very was handicapped to manage the grid when those things are not there. So that, that's the situation we're facing. Well, and that was uh, the interview with engineer Balarabe there. Welcome back from that very, very informative timeout with the manager, National Control Center, Oshobo. I believe you have been well educated through that intervention. Now, the target for stakeholders in the past sector is to achieve zero grid collapse. 
but you will also agree with me that an 87% reduction in total grid collapse within the last two years cannot be waved away. Now, from actions, plans, and of course, project implementation being carried out by TCN, it is clear that we are approaching a complete eradication of avoidable grid collapse. And uh, this is where we draw the cutting on today's edition of the Bridge 360 Show. Do you make it a date with us on the same channel, same time next week. Well, please follow us on social media. Uh, we would appreciate your likes and comments. We have also made this package in other major languages such as Igbo, Yoruba and Hausa for your viewing pleasure. The information displayed on your screen tells you where they are and of course when. My name is Stephanie Odia and bye for now.